In the display and geometry tab, there are a number of editing tools available to you if you switch your mode from full screen to custom geometry. Now this is only available to action with one of the video licenses, but on the free version you can set all this up to how you want it so that it's ready for when you do get your license and then it will work. So on custom geometry, as I said, this opens up many more options for you to edit the display and geometry of your image or video. So we're going to look at translation and anchor in this short video. The translation helps you move your image or video along the X and Y axis. Now you can do this by clicking and entering numbers into the boxes. So we're going to enter 1000 and 1000 and you can see the image has moved to the bottom left hand corner. We'll just put those back to zero. The other way of doing this is dragging the image across your screen. So we could do this and put it into the same place almost exactly, but then to get that precision, it is easier to enter the numbers in. Okay, so we're gonna click that back to zero and back to zero. The other thing you can do here is move your anchor point. Now the anchor point is the blue cross in the middle, and that's the specific area for which your video rotates around. So we can change our anchor point again by clicking and dragging the anchor point around, or we can enter numbers into the box. Again, we'll go with 500 and 500, and you can see the anchor point has moved all the way over to there. So that is now the space for which our image will rotate around. We can put that back to zero just by clicking the numbers in there.